obviously, having discovered this clever new thing, maybe in or near San Francisco, where many clever new things were discovered, there's the question of delivery. How do we get it to the people who we need it? We're getting better at that. We, we haven't solved all those problems by any means, but we are getting better at that. And one of the things that really strikes me in the Bay Area, whether it's a Silicon Valley discussion or a biotech or a pharma discussion, is that as people begin to work on the new clever thing, they now begin to talk about how do we get this to Tanzania early in the design and development process. It's not, oh, we've got this clever new thing and people in California are benefiting from it. Oh, afterthought, how could people in Africa benefit from it? It's more and more, how can people in Africa benefit from this as a discussion starting very early on? And that's very powerful because it leads to modifications in the design to make it more user friendly in Africa. Vaccines and cold chain is a good example. The shelf life of drugs. HIV drugs that are one pill a day. They used to be 35 pills a day. Then they went down to three pills a day. Now, thanks to Gilead Sciences in, in, uh, in the Bay Area, it's one pill a day. That's a huge asset everywhere, but it's a particular asset um, for poorer patients in poorer uh, countries. So people are thinking about that early on, and they're also thinking about the market models and the financing models. OK, we bring this to the market. We know who's going to buy it in the United States and Europe. But who's going to buy it in Africa? Is the Global Fund going to buy it on behalf of Africa? Are African governments going to buy it? Is the African private sector going to buy it? Are African citizens going to buy it? So those discussions start early. They, are, they don't have easy solutions in some cases, but we're getting much better at it. Let me give you an example of HIV drugs. The latest HIV drug, the drug of choice for everyone in the United States newly diagnosed with HIV, was available in Malawi two years after it was available in San Francisco. That lag time used to be 15 years. It's now two years. It was two years. And the price in Malawi was less than 2% of the price in San Francisco. If I had told that story 10 years ago, or when we launched the Global Fund in 2002, I'd be laughed off the stage. That can't happen. Or the NGOs would have said, that can't happen without massive government intervention. We need some Herculean government intervention to make that happen. Not true. This has happened entirely through private initiative, um, with governments giving it a, a little encouragement here and there. Um, but basically, it's been a private initiative. Very encouraging, and we'll see a lot more of that. Thank you.